Unravel the news, comparing and contrasting news sources. Hello, language explorers. In today's video, we'll delve into an essential part of reading news articles, comparing and contrasting news sources. This is not only a key strategy for enhancing your English reading comprehension skills, but it also helps you develop a critical eye towards different perspectives presented in the news. News is everywhere. It's in the paper, on our phones, on television, and all over the internet. But not all news sources are created equal. Some news outlets may have a reputation for accuracy and impartiality, while others may be known for a partisan perspective or sensationalist approach. Before reading, it can be helpful to know about the source. This doesn't mean you have to do in-depth research on every article you read, but having a general idea can help set the context for your reading. News, ideally, should be neutral and objective, but the truth is, every news source carries a certain perspective. It may be subtle, or it may be obvious. This perspective can be influenced by the news organization's policies, the political alignment of its owner, or even the region it is based in. When reading news articles, pay close attention to the choice of words, tone, and the information that is emphasized or downplayed. These can give you clues about the perspective or bias. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter, comparing news sources. To practice this, you'll need two or more articles on the same topic from different sources. Start by reading them separately, making notes on the main points, the tone, any notable language usage, and the perspective you sense. Next, compare your notes. What points do the articles have in common? Where do they differ? How do their tones vary? And what might that say about their perspectives? Contrasting, or looking at the differences between sources, can be quite eye-opening. It helps you to understand that the way information is presented can greatly influence our perception of events. Try to answer these questions when contrasting. Do the sources focus on different aspects of the story? Do they use different types of language or tone? Do they draw different conclusions or offer different viewpoints? All these observations can contribute to your understanding of how news can be differently represented. And there you have it, a handy guide to comparing and contrasting news sources. Remember, the aim here isn't to judge which source is better. Instead, this exercise is about understanding how language and presentation can shape our understanding. The more you practice, the more discerning you'll become. We hope this video has been informative and enlightening. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be navigating the world of English news like a pro. Happy reading!